this is Trevor. Jackie and Lolly went to the bathroom or something. I don't really know. I think they're commentating the finals with me. If not, I'll just be here solo. I don't know where they went. Thank you. Well, actually, Lolly went to the bathroom, and Jackie said she was going to the bathroom, but she was really talking to Jim the whole time, so... There you go. Wow, you guys. Yeah, they're fixing the toilet, duh. Toilet's broken. Go, buddy. All right, we're we're back. Uh, I have no idea where Alex went, so it's just gonna be me and Senor Trevor. So, hey, friend. Hey. How are you? <laughs> <Good>. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I assume Rossi won the dice roll. Uh, he's playing Quilt. Rossi, you played a uh, a scout, and then followed by a duality. All right, look, we have. We've seen Anthony's deck with Pumps. Like 30 times. So, uh, Rossi named his deck uh, OTK Machine. Uh, yeah, OTK Machine. Like <laughs> It's the machine that OTKs you. Uh, Alright, so... Yeah, it looks like uh, most of the lists that top today... Actually, all of the lists that top today uh, played Double Odd Eyes. And, That's uh, odd. <laughs> and the trampoline. <laughs> Uh, you have my so horrible <laughs> jokes. <laughs> Rossi has a, a very strong opening hand of That's Scout uh, set three go. Okay, so uh, Rossi's list, uh, he actually uh, main decks triple dust tornado. Uh, which can help his chances out uh, really well um, against uh, and oh and he also plays torrential wow oh that actually hurt a lot that's a uh, that's actually really surprising that he uh, plays torrential <laughs> uh, what what year is this but he torrentials uh, sir gets back the tuner uh, that way uh, Rossi has somewhat of an advantage again. Uh, the other things that uh, Rossi also plays is, I'm not sure because of his handwriting, it looks like Triple Vanity's Emptiness. Uh, I could be wrong. Uh, his handwriting is uh, not the greatest. Uh, yeah. Excellent. Uh, he, uh, s Anthony opened up with the Fire Lake. Uh, it looks like it's going to end up being dead, though. Yeah. For now. For n for now. Uh, the good the good news is, uh, unless uh, Rossi has uh, a monster and uh, a sacrifice, he can't uh, run over uh, the tuner. Actually, uh, even with a sacrifice, he cannot run over the tuner. What's the tuner's defense? Uh, Twenty one hundred. Oh. <laughs> so, uh, it looks like he's gonna get Virgil <laughs> regardless. Uh, Anthony needs to just draw. Uh, draw a monster uh, right here because it looks like his hand is uh, uh, beginning at the end actually. So he drew it pretty early in the game which is uh, not, yeah. a, not the best. 
not optimal, especially without going double Dante turn one. Yeah, right now Rossi's just trying to get to a monster. He got the skill drain. Uh, but he got a skill drain <coughs> instead, so. Uh, now he can run over now it. Now he can run it over. <laughs> yes. Next uh, turn. He has to, uh, did you take the, the sacrifice? Or not sacrifice, did you take the, the second scout? Um, uh, I think so. I think I think, you did I, think I did. Uh, it's actually uh, it's not one one. It's uh, actually this is game one. This is game one. Yeah. As uh, you can see by the zeros up top, that <laughs> dictate the uh, wins for each player. Uh. Yeah. This is uh. If uh, Anthony has an out, oh, he had he has double sacrifice. That's so good. Now he's able to run over the monster. Uh, nope. He just he just chooses to to leave it to fate. Yep. Just he's he's choosing to leave it to a skill drain, not. Uh, what is the spell in Anthony's hand? It looked like uh, a Raigeki. It, no, it's I think it's a beginning of the end. It looks like Raigeki because there's a line down the middle. Uh, I'm, I can't see the... the, the thing yeah, so not how he's holding it now. Uh, but he he luckily he drew uh, a Skarm <laughs> for, for his turn, which... Uh, yeah, that's pretty good. That just puts him back in the game. Like that That's like the one burning this month mm -hmm. he absolutely needed to draw, uh, other than Skarm, uh, to get into his thing. But he, he right now, uh, I think he's forced to make... Dante and hoping to mill either a Sir or a Skarm to yep. make his Fire Lake alive. Yeah, Ching, Ching, Ching gave me foe. Oh, it, it, the, the stream says it's a Regeki, so he's actually uh, ha. he's actually uh, forced, uh, unless he has MST, he's uh, he's forced to just have uh, Dante to mill at the cost. Uh, I know he, he knows that he's in a, on a time clock with the, yep. with the monster out. What he's really looking here is like if he wants to play Fire Lake or not. Yeah, I think uh, he he might just be thinking to not leave it to chance and just uh, Fire Lake him immediately. Yeah. Yep. yep. He's choosing to Fire Lake now. He's not leaving it uh, up to chance. Uh, he he should Fire Lake uh, definitely the Scout. Uh, and possibly uh, the scout monster in like one of his back row unless uh, he has something to out the monster. And then he has the, the dust tornado. Uh, chooses chooses not to karma cut. Uh, I think he, he... Oh, he, he did target the monster with Fire Lake. He did karma cut? No, no, no. He, he targeted the monster with, uh, with Fire Lake. Yeah, so, okay. So uh, he still has one set card. Uh, and right now, uh, Anthony, I believe, just has to search for for tour guide and not potentially die next turn. But yeah, <laughs> but uh, that's that's just something re uh, really, really, really like leaving it to chance. Yeah. Do you think it's realistic that Rossi could just OTK him? No, th that's that's just what this deck does. <laughs> I know it's what the deck does, but. How many cards does he have in hand? Three now? Uh, Anthony has oh, two, scout. and he has the scout. That's pretty big. Uh, I think uh, if Anthony doesn't have a discard trap, I think he's uh, trying to bluff it at this point. He didn't uh, He didn't open the potentially the greatest, but there's still uh, two two other games. Uh, he th It's best uh, three out of five yep. at this point for the final. As so. you can see in the bottom left-hand corner. Dictating that it is a three out of five match. He he brings out odd eyes, which hmm. <laughs> that's uh Did that's actually that? uh no I think uh I think he does have a some sort of discard trap right here, and he needs to top deck the odd eyes because uh, if he if he doesn't or just get rid of the odd eyes in general because if he does not uh. Next turn, he could bring out the the the, the thing that bounces scout uh, that bounces scout back to his hand and uh, make dollar and just make it really hard for Anthony just to come back from this game. I see. One K and one day players, welcome to your sixth and final round. After this, if you have made the top eight, we will have a short form for you to fill out. If you have made top sixteen.
Yeah, he, he's going to let him just kind of go inside. Go <laughs> he double tribute summon for <laughs> this. Uh, that's a... Uh, yeah, he, he was uh, trying really hard just to bluff it, I guess. This is... Uh, this... I don't think this is doom. Uh, one, two, three, four. Uh, I think, yeah, I think he's off by like... Yeah, no, that's game. He's not, yeah. apparently. Uh, I, I was trying to do the math, and <laughs> yeah. I was just like, uh, I think that's still game. game Looks two. like I came Thanks. right as Rosty went up a game. So now we're going to see the sided games. This is where... Who's uh, good, Chinkster? Where's I see uh, you. Where I miss what's, you. What's Rossi's uh, side home. deck against this deck? Uh, <laughs> Yo, look at this. <laughs> Page 95, that was the one funny thing you're posting all day. <laughs> Uh, the way to get uh, Jackie Icon is uh, you subscribe. You, su you, you, you subscribe to ARG Live. We even have the ARG Dragon logo next to your name now. We fixed that. No more stars. No more stars. <laughs> Although you're all stars in my eyes. <laughs> Shout out to my boy at Team Supreme. So, okay, let's see. Uh, Rossi's ah. side deck is three Shadow and Prison Mirror, three Wiretap, and three Two Maxi? Two or three? I can't tell. It looks uh. like two. Yeah, uh, and he, it's funny two. Funny thing and he is, uh, Rossi is actually citing two Trap Tricks at Mermelio and one Time Space Trapple, which <laughs> I think is hilarious. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, uh, I think, uh. I think this is. Hmm? Quiet. Oh, uh, we're just talking about the side. Gotta be quieter. Yeah. Okay. Okay. There's less people in the room, I. So now we got we to gotta be quiet because uh, yeah. they can think it's a good thing we didn't mention anything crucial. <laughs> like that card in his hand. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it looks like uh, this is the first time I think we saw a Shadow Prison Mirror but with oh. against uh, with the Coalport deck, actually. A Shadow Mirror? Really? Yeah, just the, uh, that's weird. What? That card is just really good. What, what does this mean? That means that's a life point count. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, I guess uh, I guess the game started to have any. I didn't look up. I'm just like looking at the the, the side deck. So we got it, Jackie. You're looking at the deck list. Let me just it's go. It's just it's uh really difficult to see, right? Did he tour guide the tour guide? You know, he tour guide and uh, it got maxied, and then uh, Anthony brought out graph. So then, Rosty outs the graph. He gets Skarm. It it like kills itself. And then he searched another tour guide. He summoned tour guide again this turn, and uh, and he flipped drain. So oh he decided okay. to make Dante activate the effect and pay cost to mill three. Yeah, I think uh, I think the other Coalport decks haven't been uh, citing Shadow Mirror because because uh, uh, Fairy Wind is a card. I think that's why I haven't seen. Uh, probably I they're probably just overly concerned because one of their side deck cards gets out by the other side deck card. <laughs> I could see that. Yeah, I think uh, Rossi's the only one who decided uh, to live without fear today. I mean, I just think, I just think it's smart. <laughs> Grr. These emoticons were a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... Uh, That's a uh, helix. I still don't think he could uh, out... Uh, the f nope, now he could die. Bam, yeah. disc. And that's yeah, skill so drain. Goes, pop the back row. I, think I the back hate row these is sleeves. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we should have went with a por pro mat. This uh, apparently we didn't have those. So that's why we're having problems. Yeah. Because yesterday was fine. For the most part. Uh, uh, that's the one that bounces back to his hand, right? No, that's the one that uh, pops a speller trap. Uh, is that a bouncer? Nope. Mm, well, uh, now he's uh, he's forced to uh, wing blast like a skill drain at this point. Oh, he doesn't want to. He has to do a. Wow, he's gonna let him uh, special summon. Oh, no, no, this no, the no, drain no. is up, so he will not be special summoning. Uh. Why is he going into his deck? He's searching for sacrifice. Okay. So he opts to search I should, I should probably be like 
So he triggers Seer. And he gets back Skarm. He's just he's just trying to defend. Yeah, so he sets up the scale. So he's gonna. Our life count is life count correct? Uh, 77 to 77. I'll go check. Oh, uh, oh. Uh, put it away. Put it away from this. Put it away from this. Oh, you put it next to this one. Sorry about that, guys. Sorry about that, boys and girls. It's your boy Squiddy. Uh, yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't look like uh, Anthony had a, a really strong hand. It looks like a. I feel like he had an all right hand. His opponent just had a stronger hand. Yeah, like the MST on the fairy wind, but he drew into another fairy wind, which is good. So at least he didn't out to the scout and the drain all in one. Uh, but Rossi does side wire tap. Like uh, Anthony actually just has like a handful of monsters right now. Mm -hmm. So he specials Rubik. I I don't know if there's a uh, very much you can do right now. Like just the the extra pump. <laughs> These emotes are just throwing you off your game, I see. Do I need to hide the chat from you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. These Potentially. Are just, this is just too much with, with the chat. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for doing that too much. I just start laughing. I gotta cut you guys <laughs> off. Jeez. Okay, uh... So he's deciding whether or not to synchro. He's uh, special no, Rubik normal. I think, normal I think he's deciding out. whether or not he wants to, uh... Leave it to chance again. Like, how do you mean? Chancy. <laughs> <laughs> I think he needs to, uh, at this point, just, uh, yeah, mill Fire Lake and, uh, which he did. Two Fire Lakes. And, uh, special summon, uh, things special. in his hand to try to crash into one of the monsters and set the Fire Lake. Mm -hmm. That's, that's his, uh. <laughs> oh. Oh, that. That's just unfortunate. Yeah, oh now baby. there is no way. The now, fire uh, depending on what he uh, actually... No, he, he just summoned the Dante this turn. Yeah, that actually just hurt a lot. Maybe he should have. Uh, yeah. Is that a fairy one? Yeah, so like, he has, he has an out to this. But yeah, we have to start whispering and survive. That actually just like... <laughs> that actually just like really hurt. Not not being able to to get uh, the effect of the burning of this monster. <laughs> oh man! Yeah, it's a special scarm. I think he's gonna special graph too, and then set the fairy wind. That yeah, play seems I like it makes the most sense to me. I think he's just. Uh, does Rossi have no cards in his hand? No, no oh, cards. Okay. So he's just gonna uh, possibly just draw a phase. Uh. No, he doesn't have to. There's nothing in the pendulum zone either, oh, so he doesn't have to risk waiting for the. So he pays 800, and mm -hmm. he pays 800 and pulls out a big fairy wind. 600. Seven, so that was three. Uh, no, it was no, four. 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 So, so he takes 1200. They both, they both take 1200, and Rossi takes the 800 from the scout search. So uh. uh 2000. That was a. That was a. That was a costly activation of scout. <laughs> It says spaghetti. Okay, so so this can run over Dante right now. Oh, he oh that oh wow. man, see this is what I'm talking about with this deck, man. He takes he, another eight hundred. He takes another eight hundred. Jeez, wheeze. But looking looking pot on a positive note. Uh, yeah, on on like a good note. There's no mirror skill drain. Yeah, he can he can potentially clear his board next. Turn, uh, depending on what uh, survives. Yeah, that that glare card's pretty good. 
Rossi, Rossi special summons uh, Disk in defense to try to have some sort of a... Uh, scout in defense. Trigger. Oh, he gets back Dantes. Yeah, I said it again. Oh, I think he's I debating whether or not to get... Yeah, he gets Dante back. Yeah, he was, uh, he was debating whether or not to, uh, I think, get uh, Fire Lake. So he just passes. That's actually just... Uh, Ooh, and he draws a third Fairy Wind. <laughs> I can't help it. It's I'm getting excited. I'm commentating. It. Like, <laughs> babe, come on, man. This is just such yeah. a good, like... This is so back and forth. He top decks... Scout that and then he, if he if he mills uh if he mills sir gra uh whatever right here he can actually game him with fairy wind uh making a astral nightmare shark and he, he can't he can't mill it yeah true uh right now he should he can uh he can actually like clear his board if he summons skarm uh depending if he uses Dante or not. He could uh, bring out the graph, uh, crash one of his guys, get back Fire Lake. So he has like Fire Lake and uh... Yeah, and then and then just win with Fairy Wind. Uh, okay, so just, let me, let me do some... Yeah, that's... Bass 2011, yeah, no, uh... He, he, that, that's, that's actually what he... Like he can't, he can't get him, just use Nightmare Shark, but let's see what he makes. Makes another Dante, yeah. Yeah. There's the mill three. Oh man, mill graph. Oh. Ooh. Okay, he could, uh. The Raigeki. Yeah, so Raigeki and beginning and the end are both gone. And all three, fi he's milled all three fire lakes. Which doesn't really matter, Dante can just get it back, but. Yeah, right here he could uh he could uh crash the Dante that has a scarm. Uh, that way he gets a, a tour guide just in case uh, his game plan for whatever reason doesn't go as uh, according to plan. Yeah. <laughs> and uh just secure game for his next turn. Unless uh, you know, he draws another scout. So he crashes one of the Dantes into the 1800 creature, so... So, that d I think... Did that Dante have a... Uh, no, he, he takes 13 because... Yeah, I don't think he, he activated that Dante's effect. Yeah, so he takes 13. Okay. Uh, what what I did he add back? Did he add back the fire? Like, yes, all? he did. Yeah, he did. Okay. Uh, I believe he could kill one of his monsters? Yeah. What was that Dante at? Uh, 25. 25 into his, uh... 18. Uh, 18 19, it, it's, either, it's either it's at 25 or 22. Uh, because I, I, f I think that one decreases attacks. So, regardless, it's going to be, it's going to be, uh, 500 damage. I'll, I'll ask. You don't have to. Okay. Yeah, yeah, no, it's, it's going to be the same amount, regardless. Oh. I guess he, he just said to pass. Right here, right here, he should uh, definitely. Uh, I think he should just uh, chain the fairy one right there. I think he should fairy one. He should fairy one like yeah, right he now. He fairy can't one afford to let him uh, like have tendril ones. Oh. Yeah. yeah, he's definitely fairy one. But the the thing okay. is, the thing is, uh, both of his monsters, uh. All of his monsters are level four. Yeah, he might so be he contemplating. So he can, he can, he he can actually just chain both of these and be in like a, a better spot than just uh, than just like one of these. Yeah, but what if he top deck like how many scouts does he use? That's important. Like I I wouldn't want to like do that and then run into like well, another scout. No, he he needs to like he so needs to do it now because if he gets dwellers, yeah. he he won't get uh, the advantage back with Dante. I think that's what he's thinking. So uh, no, Chris, ex Chris. except th all of these cr like these creatures are all different levels. I think. So, uh, they both take... So, yeah, uh, so Rossi's just trying to force out the yeah, fire Yeah, so he lake. forced out the fire lake. They both... Yeah, let's get, we're getting life real quick. Uh, I think he detached the one with the ghost sword. He's grabbing Sir right now, and, uh, I believe he's just gonna grab another Burning Abyss monster. Probably, uh, Graf. 
Uh, he might have to put back the other Dante, though. The Dante, nope. Yeah. He, he does not care. He's, uh, he's going to play Virgil for the game. Tour guide right here. Uh, I think just possibly like top decking another burning this monster and securing the game right here. I know he just dropped right, top decks typhoon. Yeah, that's uh that's game right there. Yeah. Thoracic concedes. Yep. So uh very long There's game two. Yeah. Uh very long game two. Uh getting very winding uh the uh skill drain and shadow mirror just uh <laughs> Yeah, that was really, really grindy. Fun. That was really grindy. Yeah. <laughs> that was a uh, really good, uh, really, really good uh, response to everything. <laughs> that was like really <laughs> all Anthony could do there. <laughs> so you're just, you're just, you're just very, very. It got him there. there. I just think um, the game was very back and forth, and it, it required a lot of grinding on Anthony's part. And the very win that he drew for that turn was very, very pivotal. That. Uh, you know, the Fire Lake Mills were to be somewhat expected. I mean, you know, you run three of them, but the fact that he yeah, he him, topped him the milling the fire one, or the, the the Fire Lakes just uh, made it easier for him to yeah. So he topped the Fairy Wind, and that is what came in real clutch. Mm -hmm. So so add. No, not this nope, time. Nope, nope. We're just gonna go straight to it. We're just gonna go straight to the next game. <laughs> Hold on, I'm just gonna need this. Hey, we we off the mic real quick, but Ching, we we definitely go into some B-dubs when we come back. Uh, wait, we should probably get back. Hold hold on, wait. Okay, I guess uh, I guess they're starting now. Yeah. Uh, uh, Rossi opens. Uh, the Sacrifice. The, the typical typical. Uh, that's not very typical, monster. actually. That's actually just pretty poor. <laughs> <laughs> so he mills. Oh, uh, that's yeah. a shadow mirror. He mills though. three, but. Uh, luckily, uh, luckily he has uh, a backup for it. I mean, he, right. won't, he, he won't be able to search for uh, Garm this turn, but yeah. he's he's okay. He so I see Fairy Wind and I see Karma Cut, and. Uh, does Rossi have one card in his hand? Uh, yeah. So, so this is he attacks, and if he has skill drain here, <laughs> that actually would just really suck. Mm -hmm. uh, so he puts the Dante in defense. Uh, Won't be that bad. Is actually. this the one that bounces back the the monsters as well? Because I cannot see with the glare. Uh, this is the one that bounces monsters. Okay, uh, so uh, I would have uh, made down in here because. So wait. Uh, that's actually Dante. Uh, Dante. He takes a uh, four hundred. Yeah. Rossi does. Okay. And it looks like uh, Rossi just just passes. Uh, I don't think he has uh, anything to really stop. Oh no, he does. Okay. So he yeah. he reads for the thing. Yeah. yeah maybe he, making down was he, the he right idea. He should have made. Uh, if, if you have the guy there, there, I you shouldn't leave it to to him not drawing. And so now, but now, so now like he feels he's safe one. with uh, with. Activating Scout, which... He activates Scout, and it gets Fairy Winded. Mm -hmm. So both duelists take 600 points of damage. 
and Wasi takes 800. Mm -hmm. And he clears the Shadow Mirror, uh, which is good because this turns the... Ah. He also took, uh, four, yeah, I took 400 from the attack? I took the attack and the... Uh, So that yeah, karma cut. Yeah, Anthony said he did not like karma cut, which is very, very interesting. Cause yeah, because I, 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 <laughs> I love karma cut. I think he's at 62. I'll confirm it. Uh, I, I've noticed, like, uh, being back here, I've noticed that uh, they don't like to karma cut before the equip spell, which uh, I think is wrong. <laughs> But but that's that's just like my opinion. Yeah, anyway. don't worry. But I'm sure. <laughs> like I, th I think Bowden agrees with your sentiment. Yeah, I just uh, I would just rather them have a a dead card in their hand. But yeah. So Rossi sort of just scout off the sacrifice, well and he draws a Rubik. Oh, that's uh. Does he has two cards in his hand? Yeah. So Let's see. Let's see if we can create a game here. I think it actually just comes down to what Dante mills. Yeah, if he mills, sir, that's game. Mm -hmm. Just uh, special summoning the the cow cab in this game. He could, he could make double Dante and, and pump special out special summon the guy. Pump out uh, a burning abyss guy for a game. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see if he gets lucky with Dante. He could he could summon he could summon a cow cab from his deck. Oh, he he, uh, he has the one in his hand. No, he he summons Graf. Uh, so he gets Graf here. He 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 special summons Sir right here, and he special summons the Calcab in his hand. And well, he maxied. Oh, he maxied. I yes. did, I just go for game. Ah, yeah. that's right. This is a game. It's st it's still game. Yeah, it's still game. No matter yeah. what Sir can bring out, like that's simply because he had Graf. So he didn't even need a Miller Sir. He just he he could already, he just yeah. This is this is game, and all he needs to do is summon a cow cab or an Alec from his deck or from his graveyard. graveyard. Yeah, Alec. There Alec you go, and, and that's, that's exact. That's a, that's a good game. So there goes another game to Ekrod taking advantage of uh, the clear open game state. <laughs> So, uh, really quick game three. So, uh, Anthony's up a game, so all he has to do is uh, win one more, and he uh, secures his victory. Okay, so uh, Rossi uh, very patiently just, uh, he doesn't look like he's uh, he's very uh, content right now. He looks like he's, uh, he knows that he needs to uh, just really just draw his side uh, in order to win right now. Because he, he's not looking too happy. No, I mean, and it's just Rossi being Rossi. And this is uh these are actually uh pretty good games for the finals actually. Right? Oh yeah. And very very back and forth like you th you don't know like who's going to win. But you got to understand, you know, this could be the very last Oh man, that's a lot of purple. That's a lot of purple I see from Okay, so he dualities. <laughs> it's sorry about the glare, guys, but he dualities for uh, skill drain. Yeah, he grabs skill drain. And, uh, it looks like. Uh, I believe he paid 800 for scout. Did he? Did he? Yes, yeah, he already he did. did. Yeah, he paid 800. And he odd eyes. I don't like that card. Yeah, odd eyes is a. Uh, it's questionable. Yeah. Uh, he's so Rossi, Rossi's at 7200. Yeah, he, uh, Rossi searches yes. for another scout. And he searches another scout off Odd uh, Eyes. I, I, I think I just want to grab Trampling. 
maybe because he already has the sacrifice, so he's just gonna have an abundance of the. Uh, yeah, I think I think what Rossi's concerned with though, and see, hmm, you know what I would concerned with Fairy Wind. Right you know what I would have grabbed off the scout right here. Uh, if I was if I was really concerned about Fairy Wind, I think I'd go for Climate Change, to make that card. You know, like is it is it called Climate Change or is it called Quill Block Climate Quill Block? Yeah. <laughs> I hate all these puns. <laughs> these puns are so silly. <laughs> so, uh, I'm not sure what I see in his hand, but yeah, that looks like it's a fairy wind karma cup bottom I'm trying that's to like speak a little softly, that's so a lot of purple. Yeah, uh, um, open glasses in there. This is a hand of a lot of purple. Uh, if he has one more monster, he can be okay, but. I don't. I don't think he. He has. He has another monster. Uh, yeah, that's just uh, unfortunate. I think uh, he has to get Sir and like in defense mode, so he can get. No, he just chooses to just get this going right away. He could have uh, got out Sir and just like started looping them, but uh, I'm not sure if this is the one that's pops spell or trap cards. Or if it's the one that bounces the monster. But it looks like uh, Anthony may have uh, had the beginning of the end in his hand. Yeah. So it's a. Uh, That's what it's looking like. Just like game one uh, is just something you can't activate. He decides to set all this back row anyway. So, so Rossi uh, opts to pay. Why is Rossi at 200 life points? <laughs> it's supposed to be 7,200. I didn't even realize yeah, that. Oh man. Alright, so he should be he should be less than that now. 72 whatever, 72 minus 800 is, that's how much he got. So he grabs uh, another sacrifice, so he has to have like this, I think, right now. Yeah, he has the, the disc. Yeah, he has the hand. disc. Uh, he activates the effect. So to activate helix, sacrifice, disc, in that order, I assume. So, <laughs> this is just uh, really unfortunate for... Yeah, and him. Anthony is contemplating the karma cut, and he's saying, well... Well, you know, I'm gonna lose good, anyway. Yeah, like the the good thing about uh, him karma cutting right now is he he can't he can't die this turn. Uh, and if he draws like another burning abyss monster or grabs like a tour guy, he he can he can fight back. He can fight his way back. True. So, uh, yeah, uh, what, 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 what? You're still talking about the ghost. Whatever. Like 27th round of the board. Whatever. Um, I had to turn on Trevor's microphone. I didn't realize you were, huh? I didn't realize you were muted, man. Yeah, you muted me. I, I apologize. It's though. okay. So, Rossi taking, uh, Quite a bit of time trying to figure out what he wants to do. I just wish we did not use these cards because it uh, makes it really difficult to see what he has. But it looks like he searched for another disc with sacrifice. Uh, uh, unfortunately, like he has to like, yeah, he has to activate uh, one of his guys just so he doesn't, uh, just so he feels like his monsters <laughs> don't don't have like no reason to act be on the field because they're going to go away at the end phase. Um, that's actually just like really I mean, yeah. Really bad. Uh, he, he, I know he knows that like attacking a Skarm could either like uh, win him the game right now because uh, if he activates skill drain when he has to guide, uh, I think he could OTK him potentially again with the, with the clear field. Agreed. And, and I think uh, I think Rossi knows that. And I think I think that's exactly what he's. Uh, what's happening? Oh yeah, but Rossi's reading a bottle. Yeah, and he, he read it right. Yeah, this is a. Uh, 
he can he cannot attack that storm if if Roski wants to to win this game. He, he cannot attack storm. So end phase they just go away. Uh, just for his turn. Oh, he draws. Oh, he draws. He draws. BA. He draws sir. And I think the, this this uh, can win him the game if he does not have a vanity's emptiness or uh, a shadow mirror. Yeah, shadow mirror especially. Yeah, he he cannot. Well, he doesn't have vanities, but I, I do believe he has shadow mirror. But you have to realize if that. He, but if he mills uh, a scarm right now, that's game. Well, Anthony has Anthony has a uh, fairy wind. So what Anthony can do here is he can yeah. activate, and this is all under the assumption that he does not have one of his three wire taps. Okay, so uh, Rossi, I believe, is not gonna uh, skill thing right here because he knows that's a, that's just asking for death. Uh, yeah. You could you could see him actually just uh, <laughs> not in the best mood. No, I think he's just trying to go stone face. He's just trying to go Robbie B real quick. <laughs> Total stone face. Uh, he, so he's gonna attack with Scarm. He's gonna Sorry. take a thousand and twenty-five. Yeah. And oh, so he attacks. So then yeah. on that attack, he oh, only will take 2,000. Uh, that's actually just really, really bad. He's actually going to take 1,000 off this attack, right? Yeah, and then he is thinking about chaining Fairy Wind, I think. I would I would chain it right here. That way, uh, uh, I, I would because uh, then it makes a... Uh, he's unable to, to, to scout. Yeah, so he does. Yeah, so he gets to take the 25 and make it unable to scout. Uh, yeah. I don't know why he puts Kudra in the pendulum zone. <laughs> you can tell Rossi's just exhausted. <laughs> you can tell just Rossi is hat. Yeah, like he's so had it. He's like, I'm tired of this kid. Yeah, tell I I don't know about that. Uh, <laughs> he's like, I've I've had it with all these Dantes. <laughs> <laughs> I've had enough of you Dantes. <laughs> so um, right here, um now what what are, are we sure he's at thirty four? I feel like he just took a ton of damage from that. He yeah, took a thousand, then he took twenty five. Then he took he took a lot of damage from Barry Wind. Anthony has taken some damage. Everyone's just taking damage right and left. He makes downward. Yeah, he makes downward, so he could uh, so he's able to scarm sir. I'm surprised that Rossi has not seen any of his wire taps. Yeah, he he plays he says three. Right? three, yeah. Yeah, he's just been uh, mainly drawing his main deck and shadow mirror, mm -hmm. which uh, like like we uh, both we'll, we'll, like we uh, said earlier, uh, he side side decking shadow mirror was. It's probably not the the best choice uh, yeah. because it loses to Fairy Wind, yep. and uh, I think we're we're seeing a, an example of that right now. So he he draws his scout. He takes eight hundred, and I'm pretty sure he's like not expecting. Yeah, can we get can we get life real quick? Can we, can yeah. we, is there yeah. a way we can it call that guy like with the whiteboard? Sorry, I, I hate to make Trevor keep getting up for your viewing entertainment. Yeah, he he's gonna search for tour guide. Yeah. And Rossi just sets his uh, his sacrifice because we're we're pretty sure it was his uh, he he just set his sacrifice for his blood. So Rossi at 19, and what's Anthony at? Because Anthony should take damage out of uh, off of uh, Fairy Wind. Oh, and there goes Trevor again. Yeah, I am so it sorry. It looks like uh, it looks like Rossi. Uh, yeah, I'm looking through his. Yeah, I'm looking through his deck. Uh, he doesn't play any protective back or. Yeah, he, he oh, he does play. Um, he plays compulse and torrential. Plays compulse, bottomless torrential. So, if, if that was a torrential, like. That would have been. That's still, that's still <laughs> And Ross, he's looking at his life. He's clicking it. He's clicking. He's clicking the card. Clicking it, DN style. Yeah, clicking it. He's like ja 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 admin, <laughs> admin defeat. I mean. But is, this is hey, this was a very good game of Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah. Um, this, is, this is the kind of Yu-Gi-Oh I mean games I would love. To this play. turn decides it. Uh, what, what does Rossi have? This actually just makes me curious. That was doing math. He, he probably. Uh, I think he drew a torrential maybe. No, he had compulsive. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you can see he's like about to laugh. <laughs> What does he have uh, for the down? <laughs> the whole like the whole room is just cracking up. 
Yeah, I think I think Rossi knows. <laughs> I think Rossi knows. It's He's done. just trying. He's just trying. <laughs> <laughs> now he's taking. Oh, that's it. Yeah, he's 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 being a good sport about this. Yeah. Oh, um, and that's. And it looks uh, like we have uh, our ARG Seattle champion Anthony Eckroth. Clap, 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 clap. Don't don't say that. <laughs> don't say you're clapping. That makes it sound sarcastic. <laughs> no. So uh, congratulations to Anthony uh, for winning ARG Seattle. Uh, Rossi fought back. As hard as it could, but that very <laughs> Hey man. It it goes to show that uh Yeah, just fairy one is uh it, too strong. It goes to go. It's the great it, it, goes to, it goes to show. Uh all that glitters is gold and uh <laughs> only shooting stars break the law. Uh, looks like Ba topped another or won another event. So, uh, oh man! Yeah, oh, Bernie yo, Base Live's coming out with a with a Christmas mixtape real quick. So wait, this is two events in a row. That, yeah, two uh, events Bernie in a row. Beat yes. Yeah. Did we make a bad investment? What? He's saying. He's saying. Did you guys make a bad investment? No, we didn't. Uh, All right, I'm convinced that we're gonna like break it? we're gonna break.